Yo, what's up guys, it's Chella Dice, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what you have been doing wrong and things you can do to increase your editing speed in Fortnite. A lot of the tips in this video have been heavily researched and are used by the majority of the pros. So I highly recommend you stay to the end so you can know how to speed up your editing in Fortnite. This all applies to console and PC, so it doesn't matter if you're on controller or KBM, they all still apply to you. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video, make sure to like and consider subscribing if you want to see more high quality con content like this, because I am starting to release a lot of videos um, and I don't want you to miss it because I want you to be a better player. Anyway, that's it. Also, if you want to join my Discord server and hang out in a cool place, um, it's in the description. Uh, if you want to look for players there, uh, yada, 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 anything you want to do, you can just check out my Discord server. Enjoy the video, guys. Alright guys, so first things first, I'm going to be talking about movement and the most optimal movement you guys should be doing to be able to edit fast. So a lot of the uh, people that I see and they do this wrong, they literally just edit and they do a full circle. But in reality guys, all you really have to do is aim for these four little corners at the end of each tile and you just have to do a small little circle. And as you can see, that's way more efficient and fast um, er, and like you can just edit so much more quickly if you just do that little uh, motion like especially uh with the pizza edits i see a lot of people just doing this huge l shape which is really not the best way to do the th like the thing you want to do is aim for the corners again and just do that little l shape so you just want to aim for the little corners at the end of the tiles guys when you're doing this edit when you're doing this edit and it'll just make you a faster editor and a lot of people don't do this guys but if you start doing this you'll begin to see like a crazy amount of um speed when you're editing so to practice this i recommend just running in a straight line putting a floor down i mean a, a wall and just doing that small edit movement so just like go in a small line just practice and you want to practice this until you're consistent with it um you want to do the same for pizza edits so you want to go like that as you're walking it will break guys but you're just practicing the movement so then again uh once again to re to reiterate uh, instead of doing this huge mo uh, mo movement, which is really redundant, you don't need this, guys. What you want to do instead is just use the little circle movement right here and aim for the um, corners of the tiles. And that'll just make you a faster editor. But I don't see a lot of people doing this, guys. Um, especially if they want to edit fast. Uh, especially when you're doing triple edits, you're going to need to like aim for that small corner. Because you don't want to be doing this huge L shape after you just edit two things. You instead just want to go like that. And that'll make you triple edit so much more smoother, guys. And yeah, alright, on to the next tip on how to increase your editing speed in Fortnite. Alright guys, so this next tip applies for both controller and PC as well. So basically, what it is is not having the right optimal keybinds for editing. Gone are the days when you can use G and edit and still get away with it. Or any other keybind that's really far away from WSD on PC. Um back then guys editing was not really intensive but now people are editing like like they're they're building like a freaking cathedral in like two seconds and then editing it down in like a half a second so you really really need to have good edit keybinds that are close to your movement keys so you can edit and still move at the same time relatively quick so um a good example of this is using f i use f uh, I also recommend using Q or anything on your mouse, anything that's really close to you. And if you're talking about controller, I'm going to pull out my controller right here, guys. Uh, if you want to see what it looks like, it basically just looks like that, you know, just a regular controller. I'm not a good controller player, but I can still showcase it for you guys. Uh, basically, you want to make sure you have three uh, key binds when you're editing. So if I go to my settings real quick and I go to my controller, you want to make sure you have three uh, key binds. So my edit, I press the, the big D-pad in the middle. And then I uh, confirm, I select with R1 and then I confirm with R2. So what that basically does is it helps you not double click a button, which slows you down. So when you're editing, I'm not the best editor on controller, but like I'll kind of show you. So when you're editing, I press on the D pad and then I press R1 and then I confirm with R2. And basically those are three movements and I do the same thing for a reset. And that just, you can press them simultaneously. But if you had only two keybinds or one keybind, you would have to triple um, press it or just double press it. And that's just slower, guys. You can basically do this simultaneously. I don't have, like, uh, I'm not good at controller, but I can, like, I never practice on controller. And I can still kind of edit kind of fast. 
but yeah guys i flea talked about this um in one of his videos and razor x i think talked about this but it's very very important that you have three keybinds if you want to edit faster on controller and for pc guys make sure you do have a keybind that is closest to your wsd so you can edit as fast as possible a lot of people have bad keybinds that are not optimal for editing so in order to fix that guys you really want to make uh your keybinds uh, close to your uh, movement if you're on PC and make sure to have three keybinds if you're on controller It's very very crucial that you do that I know a lot of players that still have two edit binds and they're good But if you want to like get good fast and just have really good edit speed If you're not on edit on release, which I heard is bugged You really really want to um, start using three edit keybinds because a lot of the controller gods out there use three edit keybinds But yeah on to the next tip on how to increase your editing speed and things you might be doing that are slowing you down All right guys, so this next tip is going to be quite of a shock to a lot of you But it's basically you want to be free building more than you're doing edit courses This is because when you're free building you uh, can combine edits and builds at the same time well as when you're editing and you're doing just editing courses you can just only edit mr savage doesn't warm up using editing courses but he instead just free builds and he goes on to explain it further in detail um in his video of why he does it but basically the gist of it is you can combine more edits when you're building and just it'll give you uh a better representation of like a real game because in a real game you every every scenario is different and you can't really uh you know just practice the same edit over and over again which is good to do but at the same time you really want to have your building and your editing synced in one so that's why it's always better to warm up free building because when you free build you edit a lot too so like let's say i'm free building i'm editing a lot at the same time um and yeah guys like it you just want to free build instead of doing editing courses um even though editing courses are good you just free build free building just makes you practice at a more i don't know uh realistic level because in games you're gonna be free building way more um so yeah guys you do want to make sure you are free building um while you're practicing your edits you can still do um edit maps but it's best to uh get that muscle memory you need to be practicing your edits in free build mode so just crank to sky limit i recommend getting any map you want just cranking the sky limit and doing an edit every few seconds because then you just can combine it faster this will not only make you improve at a faster rate but it'll also make your edits way more consistent and you'll have better like connections when you're like with your uh, building and editing speed so you really want to be editing in um free build mode anyway Let's get on to the next tip. All right, guys. So this next thing a lot of people are doing wrong and you really want to fix in order to be able to edit faster is crosshair placement. This goes hand in head with uh, good editing movement, which I showed previously. So basically what crosshair placement is, is let's say you're editing like this. A lot of people would just edit this back and then they won't have time to edit this. So good crosshair placement is you want to edit this before and have it already pre-lined right here. So when you go to make the edit, all you have to do is that. So... Good crosshair placement is really seen in Razer X. I'll throw up a clip um, right now on the screen. But as you can see guys, he has really, really good crosshair placement and that is why he's so smooth. The key to being a smooth builder guys is number one, like be on controller but number two if you really want to be a smooth player and you're on K kbm you really want to have good crosshair placement so like i said guys you really want to be thinking about the next step so let's say you're doing thwifo cones when you're uh doing thwifo cones like this you want to have your crosshair already pre-aimed here so you can place that wall and then do the side jump but if you didn't have that crosshair pre-aimed you would literally have to go all the way here and then aim that wastes so much time while instead you can just be doing this but immediately have your crosshair like that on the thing so you can just go and it's already here you don't have to put this here and then slide your crosshair is already here so it's really important that you um, work on crosshair placement i still got to work on it guys but it's really good especially when you're uh this goes hand in hand with the small movements so when you're uh doing movements like this you do want to make sure your crosshair is not like all the way over here um especially i'll throw up an example uh when you're editing like this and the guy's over there right and you want to pump him instead of going like this your crosshair is now at the bottom and you have to make a big jump to his head to get the shot um because you don't want to be aiming at his feet so instead of that you can just edit down like this and now you have an easy shot at his head that's really good crosshair placement 
but a lot of people do not do that so it's really really crucial that you do start working on your crosshair placement because it is one of the pivotal things that will make your editing faster and thus make you a better player a lot of people don't focus on crosshair placement but i do recommend for you guys when you're free building and creative like i showed you last time um i do want you to be studying your crosshair and never take your eyes off your crosshair for a good solid hour and just see if your crosshair placement is good or you do need to um, touch it up a bit and make it better guys because this will make you a better player crosshair placement is overlooked by a lot of players but it is the thing that is going to make your edit speed increase by tenfold anyway on to the next tip on how to increase your edit speed all right guys so the final thing i'm going to be talking about is not editing in the right direction what i mean by in the right direction when you're editing like this you if you're editing a four piece like this you don't want to be going in this direction you want to be, instead be going uh left um right to left this is because if you're going in this direction and you mess up you're not going to do the edit but if you're if you're going for the four tile and you go in this direction and you mess up and you don't get the last tile you're still going to go through and you're still going to edit um uh you know the pizza edit so uh same thing goes for here if you're going to edit like this you don't want to go like this instead you want to go in this motion left to right in like a u shape because even if you miss that last um piece you're still going to get this uh edit right here so instead of going like this and just miss missing if you miss that last edit you always want to go like this because even if you miss it you still get it if the guy's over here right here guys if the guy's standing right here you don't want to be editing like this because if you edit like this guys you're gonna have to drag the crosshair to his head all right if the guy's right here you want to edit to him you always want to edit to the guy this is another thing with um editing in the right direction you always want to edit to the guy so if the guy like is if you're doing the kanata edit and the guy is over there you want to edit here so you have that right hand peak if the guy's right there you want to edit to him so editing in the right direction is something that you do have to practice it might go over your head but it is very crucial and if you vod review all the pros they do edit in the right direction um but yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video if you guys did enjoy it and found this helpful make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this because i am going to start posting high quality videos and i don't want you guys to miss it anyway that's it for me thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video have a good one